startup um, platform with Daddy, you in you in New York City, correct? Yes, sir. Yes. I'm in Brooklyn. Flatbush to be exact. Teddy Z in um, Flatbush, Brooklyn. We had scheduled this interview to speak on um, Teddy's uh, new music. Well, not new music, but the release and the debut of a music video which we showed you on Tuesday of this week right here on the platform. Um, but Teddy Z doesn't live with his head up in the clouds. He's a man with his ears on the ground as well um, and very much in touch with what is happening at home. So I want to break the ice, Teddy, and, and get your views and, and your thoughts. What are the, the St. Lucians out in New York and, and your friends um, saying about what's happening here on St. Lucia? Uh, well, for now, as of this morning, I have not spoken to many people. But um, throughout the weeks, you know, in my conversations, people are really concerned about what's happening. Um, Everybody is trying to figure out, you know, how can we do something? How can we find a solution? You know, we really want to protect the name of our beautiful island. But one of the one of the problems that I find is that information getting to the diaspora, well, especially over here in in, in New York, is that um, I I think that a lot of solutions um, seem to um, um, trying to find the not the right word to use, but they, they seem to uh, expand the, the, the whole situation. I spoke to somebody uh, two weeks ago who said to me, oh, I find it so, you know, crazy that a small island like St. Lucia, we already have 70 deaths, and I had to correct them, you know, and try to say, you know, you need to try to keep in touch with what's happening on the mm -hmm. island. So what happens is that somebody gets a story, you know, they expand on it, the next person gets a story, they add their two cents to it, and then the whole thing goes out of control. So um, while we're saying that, my message to St. Lucian is that, you know, especially us in the diaspora, try to be more informed with what's happening in St. Lucia so that mm. the information that we put out is as accurate as possible. Absolutely. It's very important um, that the information is accurate, especially to protect the, the, the name and the brand um, St. Lucia. Um, out there, you you are concerned. Um, what are some of your recommendations, thoughts? What do you think can can be done to help stem this issue um, from the perspective of, of a concerned citizen? Well, um, I've I've thought about it, and I had an idea, you know, uh, a couple of years ago. Um, for example, um, little things like let's say you enter in the the the. Uh, the village of, of canneries, you know, we could put up, you know, billboards in those areas saying like, welcome to canneries. This is a crime free zone. So you're getting in there, you know, that the, 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 um, the, the citizens who live in that area are on alert, but it has to be a program where you alert people and let them know, look, you have to look out for your neighbor. You have to look out for what happening in your in your community mm -hmm. if you see a vehicle that that's not normally in the neighborhood you know driving around too many times you have to be alert keep your eyes open it's almost like having a, a neighborhood watch you know but people has to have has to be educated because having a, a neighborhood watch is something that has to be very carefully thought out because what you don't want is that sort of vigilante justice mm -hmm. so you know basically setting up educating and setting up neighborhood watch letting people know what are the signs to look for in the neighborhood because somebody doesn't come and break and enter somebody doesn't come to shoot to kill without planning without you know looking around without making their plans to do what they have to do so we have to be you know more vigilant you know as to what's happening around us yeah well said, well said, Teddy. Now, you are a musician. Um, let's talk a little bit about music and, and how music can be used as a vehicle, as a tool to help um, change the mindsets of some of the youngsters and to help stem the, 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 the crime situation that's now unfolding here. Well, to me, we have to get them, you know, when they're young. I started in this business when I was 13 years old at the RC Boys School in 1982. Mm -hmm. Um, we had a, a talent show. We were at the uh, parish center. And I mean, since then, 
it has been it, it was my passion before I first you know climbed on a stage and it remains my passion to this day so you know I mean we have to just get the the youngsters involved you know show them a path my 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 former uh, teacher at the ROC boys Mr. Brian Francis he started a uh, a uh, a boys group called Hits. There were like five or six of us. And, um, you know, we were going out and he kept us engaged. We were performing at all various school events. If the, the if the uh, CCSS had a show, you know, we would be, you know, side performers there, the, the girls' vacation of school, the, um, the, the um, SMC, you know, wherever there were various school shows, we, you know, we were there, we were performing, we were engaged, we were given you know assignments you know i when the the lionel richie album came out he gave me a, a, an assignment to learn all those songs every song on the album not not with a promise that i would perform them but i had to learn all of them you know just in case you know learning all all the the the, the lyrics of, of bob marley music and and so we were we were engaged we we, we didn't have a chance to think about doing you know, anything on to work. So I, I just think that with music, it's just getting the kids engaged, keeping mm -hmm. them engaged. Because you can, you know, start something and then tomorrow, you know, you're not being consistent. It, it's the consistency. So, you know, if we have to engage the young people with music, we have to be consistent. We have to keep them engaged. Yeah, yeah. Um, one more on music and, 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 and the, the, the situation here. There, there's a segment of the population who believe that uh, music contributes, um, well, the evolution of the music has contributed to, to, to the, the crime and illicit activity. Um, what say you, how much, how much is music playing into the minds of, of some of the, the gun-wielding gun young men that, that we see on the streets this way, these days? Well, you know, it's what you're exposed to. If you if you're exposed to the violent music, you know, that is what's going to be in your mind. Because I, I mean, I don't listen to the violent music and the you know the, the the sexual sort of kind of you know engagement in music. But um, uh, there's an argument where people say you know with social media, the kids will still be exposed. You know whether you take it off the radio, whether you take it off the TV, they, they will still get it on YouTube, they will still get it on Facebook, what have you. But again, is what they're exposed to. So if they, if you in a community where you on the block with the guys and that's what they're playing, then that's what you're gonna hear. Mm -hmm. If that's if that's where you spend your time. So the, the, as as parents, we have to try to take more control as to where our children go, who they hang out with, because that's where the influence comes. The, the yeah. influence comes out, comes from when they're out there, when they're on their own. So if you have a grip on where they are, who they're hanging with, and what they're doing, you know, at least that could help. Absolutely. Well said. Well said, Teddy Z. He's my special guest this hour, live from um, Flatbush in Brooklyn, um, New York. Teddy, initially our, our, our conversation was was supposed to focus on um, this new music video project. So I thank you so much for entertaining me on, on, on what's happening here because I know you are a concerned citizen. Tell us about um, the, the project. We showed it. We showed it on Tuesday. We'll show it again before we close. But um, T.C. Brown initially produced this song, Eye of the Storm. Um, well, performed the song, In the Eye of the Storm. But you thought it necessary, especially now, with all what's happening with the climate, for for you to remake it and and put a video to it, tell us about that project. Yeah, well, since after I, I wrote the song, you know, for TC, and he he competed in the in the co competition with it, um, as usual, you know, like I said in the in the press release, in Calypso in Saint Lucia, you know, you perform a song, it gets into the finals, you know, you do what you have to do, and then it is shelved. Mm -hmm. And um, I figure, you know, the message and the song was way too important to just you know put on the back burner so i i rearranged the song i went to the studio you know and um got a new arrangement and since then I, i've been working on getting this video because i've visualized this for a long time you know what i wanted to do what i, what I wanted to see so 
from I think uh, 2018, I, I engaged probably about three different videographers uh, from St. Lucia with the idea of doing the video. But what happened is that I didn't get no response from them. And then came COVID. And mm. um, earlier this year, when we started back with our Calypso tent in New York, I met one of the performers, one of the new performers backstage, a young man called Spring Along. Mm -hmm. And he was showing me some videos that he had, you know, done. And I said, you got to give me that connection, which he did. And I got in touch with uh, his friend and I, I sent him the, the the video of me performing and, and the ideas of what I wanted to do. So from August of this year, we've been back and forth trying to get it going. And, uh, and until it was coincidental that the video came out, you know, right at the end of COP27 mm -hmm. and close to St. Cecilia's Day, which wasn't the plan. It's just while we were talking, you know, doing the editing for the video, I said to him, you know, the 22nd of November is Musician's Day. That will be a good day to release the video. And that's where we sped up everything and, and took it from there. Excellent. Um, what message is it that you hope to, to send from um, from this music video? What is the message that, 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 that is with it? I just, you know, want people to be more aware of, you know, what we're doing to this planet, this only planet as far as I know that we have, you know. I mean, simple thing. If each, each person just does one thing, one thing. How how you dispose of your garbage? You know, not not littering. You know, I mean, do some research. Find out what's happening. You see the floods. You see the the the, the rains that we have. You know, right now we see how unusual it is. You know, find out. You know, there there are a lot of conspiracy theories out there. You know, believe that it's just you know the earth healing itself. Um. Some people believe that, you know, climate change is not real. And some people are of the opposite op opinion. But, you know, just think about it and do one thing. Just do one thing to contribute, you know, to making the planet, you know, mm -hmm. a, a bit a bit of a more greener planet and, you know, for the future generation. Nice, nice, Teddy. Um, I know it, it's nice seeing you. It's been a little while. And I know many St. Lucians haven't seen you as well if, if, if you don't visit the Big Apple. So I'll give you a last minute to, <laughs> to say your final greetings and send your final message to everyone here at home. Well, first, I, I really wanted to say thank you to a, a couple of people who, who contributed in one way or another. Um, first of all, Roger Edmonds, who, who is the gentleman I, I work with. He's the one who comes to my house. We, we sit down and, and put the chords down to all my music before we go into the studio. So I really want to say a big thank you to Roger Edmonds. I want to say thank you to... Uh, Dr. Jimmy Fletcher, um, he was the one who helped me out with putting together the final text um, in the video. As you can see at the end of the video, where it says this video mm -hmm. um, intends to, et cetera, et cetera. So I want to thank Jimmy Fletcher for that. I also want to thank Mr. Gentle Benjamin. He is the CEO of GBTV. He's the one who, uh, who did the recording of my performance um, in that video. And he's a gentleman I didn't know from anywhere. And he came to me one day after my performance and he said, since you've been performing in New York, I've recorded every performance that you've done. Excellent. And I used that video, uh, that, that part of that video for the Eye of the Storm video. So, I mean, there are a million people. I want to thank T.C. Brown for bringing the song to life in the first place. You know, and a million other people I want to thank. But, you know, to all my St. Lucian people, let's, let's stand strong, you know. Let's try to do whatever we can do to alleviate the problem, that crime uh, problem that we're facing right now in St. Lucia. You know, if you see something, like we say over here, if you see something, you know, say something. You can, you, just by saying something, you can see about that. That is easy. nice seeing you. We'll preview the video again before we conclude this morning. And um, we wish the video the very best of success. And um, you stay safe out there. We'll see you again very soon. Thank you. And thank you to uh, Uncle Danley. <laughs> You're most welcome. Um, pleasure as always here on the platform. Nice. Teddy Z, live with us from Flatbush in Brooklyn, um, New York, and soon citizen. He has also just released a music video for a song um, that he produced and penned for T.C. Brown.
um, in the eye of a storm right now. Very um, important message now in keeping up on what's happening with the climate. Our good friend from Flo St. Lucia is up next. Mikela will be joining me. It's Christmas at Flo. Uh, did you know one gift brings many, many more? We'll tell you in just a bit when Mikela joins me. We're on standby for a call back from the acting police commissioner, Ms. Crescetta Descart uh, Pelius. Get off at 9 o'clock and we remain optimistic with an hour and 15 to go that um, she will call back. We're monitoring the crime situation. Um, four in three days, homicide now at um, 66. Stay with us, Michaela from Flo is up next. This Christmas at Flo, one gift brings you many, many more. Thank you. 